probably in 2025, we at Meta are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that can write code. The entire landscape of software is changing before our eyes. Not only the actual software being built, but how it's being built. Just a few weeks ago, Satya Nadella said that applications are essentially going to be collapsed into agents. And now we're seeing straight from Mark Zuckerberg's mouth, in 2025, they are going to have mid-level engineers that are AI writing their code for them. And here's the thing, Meta has a lot of resources, both money and GPUs, so they can throw a lot of mid-level engineers onto their team. I have been talking about this this year quite a bit already. This is gonna be the year that AI floods into the workforce. And here's the thing about him saying a mid-level engineer. That is 2025, this year, a mid-level engineer. What about 2026? What about 2030, 2035? At that point, software is going to be almost entirely written by artificial intelligence. And this is something that I've discussed on this channel quite a bit. What happens at that point? Does code look like the code that we're familiar with? Does it get pre-written? Does it get generated in the moment when it's actually needed? I think it's actually probably the latter. I think in the midterm, we're gonna have traditional databases because we need that ground truth. And then AI in the form of agents are going to write code when they need it in the moment. So you have some request or some task that you need your agent to accomplish. It's gonna write the tools necessary to interact with the database. It's gonna write the UI layer. It's gonna basically do everything. And at that point, applications aren't really the same as they have been for the last 50, 70 years. All right, let's watch the rest of this portion of the interview that he just did with Joe Rogan. And once you have that, then in the beginning, it'll be really expensive to run, and then you can get it to be more efficient. And then over time, we'll get to the point where a lot of the code in our apps and, and including the AI that we generate is actually going to be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. But but I don't know. I, I think that that'll augment the people working on it. So I mean, my, my view on this is like the future, people are just going to be so much more creative and are going to be freed up to do kind of crazy things. So here's a couple of things based on his sentiment here. One, more and more of our code is going to be written by AI. And there are a lot of things to think about there. Is it even going to be readable by humans at a certain point? Is it going to be in English or whatever language that you write your code in? Is it going to be symbols? Is it going to be something else that we can't even imagine? Well, I guess we'll have to see. But more and more of the code is going to be written by AI, which means we also need people to review the code. Is that also going to be AI? And if AI is writing so much code, humans are going to be the bottleneck if we're the reviewers. So entire systems are going to have to be built to handle this new paradigm. And then I also completely agree that this is going to complement humans, not replace humans. Humans in the future, and even now, we're just going to be so much more efficient, so much more productive, and I believe rather than all of these people being out of work, a much more likely scenario is we're going to have so much more productivity. One of the best ways to increase visibility to your brand, your business, whatever, is to write blog posts, long articles, deep dives. I know it takes a lot of time. Trust me, I do it myself. But there is an easier way. So I want to thank our partner on this video, SEO Writing. This is a one-click tool for generating marketing material, SEO blog posts, affiliate reviews, everything. Super easy. Not only does it create text content, but it'll also generate images for you. You can connect it to your WordPress account and it'll auto post, which is super easy and fast. You can make sure that the writing is in your brand's own voice. So it's not like anything else out there. You can easily add images and video. It has a smart internal linking system. You can manage your external links easily. And the best part, it's all very easy. So start using SEO writing for one-click blog post generation and publishing. So check them out. I'm going to drop a link in the description below. Make sure to use our promo code Berman25 for a 25% discount on all plans. Thank you again to SEO writing for partnering with me on this video. And now let's get back to the video. And so next, Joe and Mark are going to go a little bit deeper onto what the future economy looks like. What do jobs look like? A lot of people are afraid that they're going to lose their jobs to AI. But as you're about to hear, that's not what Mark Zuckerberg thinks. Let's listen. Uh, another concern that people have is that it's going to eliminate a lot of jobs. Yeah. You know, what do you think about that? Well, I, I think it's too... It's too early to know exactly how it plays out, but my guess is that it'll probably 
create more creative jobs than it. Well, I, I guess if you look at the history of all this stuff, mm -hmm. my, my understanding is like a hundred years ago. Um, in, in, I don't know if this was a hundred or 150 years ago, but it was like, at some point, not too far along uh, in, in the grand scheme of things, like the vast majority of people in society were farmers, right? Because they kind of needed to be in order to create enough food for, for everyone to survive. And then we turned that into a in, like an industrial process. And now it's like 2% of society are farmers and we get all the food that we need. So what did that free up everyone else to do? Well, some of them went on to do other things that are sort of like creative pursuits or cultural pursuits or other jobs. And then some percent of it just went towards recreation, right? So I think generally people just don't work as many hours um, today as they did when back when everyone needed to farm in order to have enough food for everyone to survive. So I think that trend is sort of played out as technology has grown. And so my guess is that like the percent of people who will be doing stuff that's like physically required for humanity to survive will get to be smaller and smaller as it has. More people will dedicate themselves to kind of creative and artistic and cultural pursuits. Um, I think that's generally good. I think the number of hours in a week that someone will have to work in order to be able to get by will probably continue to shrink. Um, yet I think people who are super engaged in what they do are going to be able to work really hard and accomplish way more than they ever could before because they have um, like this unimaginable leverage from, from having a lot more technology. All right, so Zuckerberg obviously has a very optimistic view of the future. I do as well. I really do agree with a lot of what he's saying. And right now, bringing it back to software and software engineers, this is kind of the process we're going through right now. What happens when all of a sudden a software engineer can write 10, 100, 1,000 times more software than they could before? Does that mean that they have less work or does that mean that they produce much more. I actually think it's the latter. And this shows itself with technology trends as well. Typically, as a technology gets cheaper, faster, more efficient, you might logically think that a company that is buying that technology would need to buy less. But here's the thing, it's actually the opposite. As technology becomes cheaper, companies and people tend to buy a lot more of it. That's because as the unit economics of a piece of technology decrease, the number of use cases that it can be applied to in a positive ROI way actually increases. And so it's a really cool phenomenon that happens. And I do agree with that. But it's not all gonna be rosy and it's not gonna be a very clean transition to this future. There are gonna be people getting laid off. There is gonna be this really high friction period in which we're trying to figure out what it looks like. And here's an example of that. There was an article just from a couple of weeks ago, Salesforce will hire no more software engineers in 2025, says Mark Benioff, the CEO. And the reason? Because they're seeing significant productivity boost from AI. So because of AI, they're not gonna hire as many engineers. And of course, that's kind of the counter example to what Mark Zuckerberg is saying. Now, before I give you my thoughts, let me read a couple other segments from this article. And I'll drop this article in the description below. So 30% productivity boost from AI. In a wide ranging conversation with the venture capitalist, Mark outlined the reasons why his company decided to implement the hiring freeze. When asked if Salesforce would have more or fewer employees in five years time, he said he thinks the company will probably be larger. But he went on to say, we're not adding any more software engineers next year because we have increased the productivity this year with Agent Force and with other AI technology that we're using for engineering teams by more than 30%. And this is not the first company to come out and say something like this. I forget the name of it, but there was a customer service company that just came out and said, well, we actually are able to cut our team because AI is helping us so much. To the point where our engineering velocity is incredible. I can't believe what we're achieving in engineering. Now, obviously he's a genius marketer and this is all just marketing talk and trying to push his stock and his company, but he really did do a hiring freeze. And then we will have less support engineers next year because we have an agentic layer. Again, pushing agent force, but if it's working, it's working. We will have more salespeople next year because we really need to explain to people exactly the value that we can achieve with AI. So we will probably add another 1,000 to 2,000 salespeople in the short term, which is hilarious because they're adding human salespeople to sell AI 
that will take other people's jobs. It's again, very murky. So once again, the entire software industry is changing. I've covered opinions from Linus Torvalds. I've covered opinions from Satya Nadella, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Benioff. There's no denying it. Things are changing and they're changing rapidly. So if you're not already using AI to code, I really encourage you to do so. Play around with tools like Cursor, Pythagora, and the multitude of other amazing tools out there. And really get to know them, get to use them. I think what we're gonna see in the future is a lot of companies solving a lot more of the long tail of problems with far fewer people. And Sam Altman predicted probably a year and a half ago that we're probably gonna see our first billion dollar company that was just one person, just a single person with the power of AI. Very excited about that future because that frees up a lot of other people to go start companies, of course, do a million other things, but what I'm particularly interested in is entrepreneurship and founding companies. So I'm really excited for all of the people who are gonna be freed up to go start companies and use high leverage artificial intelligence to build something amazing and to solve real problems. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.